You're a believer, and so you have a father who's equipped with power over the enemy. So if the devil does take things from you, you have someone with power and authority to take back, and even multiply all that the devil took away from you. You're a child of God who's been blessed with so much authority, and you've been empowered with power over the enemy. Don't just let them walk and steal from you. You have been given power over them. You can take back what they've taken from you, and everything you lost will be restored unto you by the power of God. This is your season of divine and full restoration. I don't know what you've lost. Maybe a job or a relationship. You can receive it back. Don't retreat because you've suffered a great loss. Rather, fight for what's yours and get it back. You can fight back by going to God in prayers. He's the one who holds the power to restore what you lost back to you. Don't get so soaked and wrapped up in your situations and circumstances that you get so depressed. Instead, go and keep relating your requests to God, and He will show up for you. No matter how long it may take, God will surely restore to you all that you've lost in due time. Don't lose patience. Remember Job's story. He went through a lot, but God restored all his loss in double folds. Don't lose your hope in God. If he did it for the men of old, then he will surely do it for you too. In sincerity, our God is a God who's capable of restoring things we've lost back to us. He said that, quote, I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, end quote. Joel 2.25 God's will is for you to recover all that you've lost. The good thing is that you don't have to fight the enemy or try to recover your losses on your own taken from you by yourself. You have God to help you take it back and give you victory. God has already given you victory. Remember that we are believers and our faith is what has overcome the world. I'm telling you today that it doesn't matter what you've lost, be it your health, joy, finances, spouse, whatsoever it is, God will restore it to you in double and full measure. And your restoration will be so plenteous that people will testify of it. It'll be overflowing such that you can choose amongst them. God is here to help you get everything back. Remember that God has promised you restoration. He's also promised to never leave you nor forsake you. This means that God will never let you fight the battle of restoration all by yourself. He's going to be there to help you win your fight. Encourage yourself in the Lord and don't sink into the pit of depression. God has always been in the business of restoring things to his children. Don't let the devil cheat you. If he's stolen from you and made you experience some loss, then you must be ready to take it back. This is your season. God is promising to restore all that you've lost back to you. You must make a decision not to be depressed or frustrated. You should rather tap into God's promises and keep praying to him. He's listening and ready to answer your prayers. Remember that the continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. Be like David and encourage yourself in the Lord. Snap out of that depression and pain and encourage yourself in the Lord. The enemy is happy that you've lost so much. Don't let him cheat you totally. When you enter into a great depression, then you're only giving him the edge to win and take over all that he's stolen from you. Instead of mopping in tears, you should encourage yourself in the Lord like David did. And you can do this by reminding yourself of all the Lord has done for you. Remind yourself of all the victories that you've won. Remind yourself of how God has been by your side and has been favoring you. How he's been there healing you and delivering you from different trouble at different times in your life. When you remember all that he's done for you, you would have so much confidence that you would now believe in God's power to restore your loss and double what you've lost to you. With this confidence, you can head on and take back what the enemy took from you by going to God in prayer. The good news about this is that God is the one doing the job. 
God is going to win over you and restore everything that you lost back to you. He's the one who will pursue for you, and he shall surely overtake and recover everything without failing. Now that you have the confidence and energy, go and confront the enemy in prayers, and you will get back what was taken from you. This is your time for full restoration. However, you must pray and set your heart ready to receive what God has in store for you. Through your words and your faith, you will receive that which God wants to give you in this season. Your words have power, and you must continue to declare your request to God from a place of confidence. Remember that you're God's child, and He loves you very much. As you send forth those words in declarations, confessions, and prayers, you'll see God working for you. You will win against the enemy's plans for you because you have God by your side. After all, if God be for you, who dares to stand against you? This is your time of double restoration. God is actively working out plans for your sake that will lead you to get double everything that you've lost. Remember that the plans he has for you are for good and not for evil, to give you an expected end. God will never put you to shame. While waiting on God to restore your loss, you must wait in patience and love and not get weary or tired. Don't give up. Don't get depressed or down. Keep speaking what you want and you will receive it from him. You will receive all that the devil has taken from you and even get back in return fully, like in the case of Job. God will restore all your loss and restore all the years the enemy has made you lose. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. God is with you. He will not let the devil win over you. He will not let that loss remain permanent. He will pursue for you and he will recover and multiply for your sake. He will give you a double restoration. What the devil meant for evil, God is surely to turn it around for your good. Remember that everything works together for good for those that love God. You've been declared victor and a conqueror, and so no matter what loss you've experienced, God will turn it around into your victory. The Bible says in 1 John 5 verses 4 to 5, quote, You see, every child of God overcomes the world. For our faith is the victorious power that triumphs over the world. So who are the world conquerors, defeating its power? Those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. End quote. God is with you. He will pursue you and ensure that he hands over double package to you. Just when the devil thought he'd made you lose everything, God will show up and recover everything and even double it. What the devil planned to use to bring you down, God will recover and multiply it around for your good.